Are you playing against a zone? Here we have seven effective proven plays against a zone. So let's get started. There's the 1-3-1 one, one offense. You start off by swinging the ball to the perimeter, and then your low post is going to cut to the corner where there's open space. Now here, 3 is going to pass the ball to 4, and he's going to cut in and try to get an open shot right there. If he doesn't get the open layup, 1 fills in, 2 rotates, fills in 1 spot, 5 comes to the elbow. If there's no shot here, 3 continues cutting to the weak side, and they swing the ball back, pass it back, and 5 flashes to the top. All right. So here, you get the ball top, he flashes the top. Or, if 5 it doesn't get it in high post, then number 4 cuts baseline, you feed him there, so there's several options here. Again, you pass, and 3 cuts, and you start over again. All right, this is the overload play against a zone. So timing is very critical for this play, so let's see what's happening. So while we're swinging the ball to four, on the weak side, what's happening is five is going to set a screen for two, who's going to try to cut over. So as we're swinging here, five is setting a screen. When the ball reaches four, five is going to cut to the top, flash the top. If he doesn't get open, he's four is going to pass the ball back, screen for two. And here, three has a couple options to feed different players. He can feed two, get an open shot. This is Cyclone, a play against a zone to get your big man open. So dribble up and then pass the ball to perimeter. So now notice four or five. Five is going to make a fake cut, fake screen, and then cut back. And then four is going to flash to the top. So you have two options here, feed one of them. Bam. This is a quick hitter play against a zone. So you start off by having all your players staggered uh, near the baseline. And then you pass to two. And then your players split up three, go to the three point line, five and four cross cut. And here you have multiple options three, four, five, hit any of them. And there you have it. This is the double play. You either get a three in a corner, or someone's going to get the ball in the paint uh, against the zone. So you start off by swinging the ball, and then you cut baseline right in the middle, down the lane. And then two will dribble to the weak side, whilst three and four sets a stagger screen for five. Right. So here at this moment, two is going to swing the ball to one, and five is going to use that double screen. And so here, one is going to feed five, or one's going to take that shot. There's Iowa against the zone to get a three pointer in the baseline, or try to get a shot underneath the rim. So we start off by uh, having a double pick for two, uh, whilst the ball handler is dribbling up. So we've got the first screen, second screen. So here, we swing the ball to three. He can pass it to two for the open shot in the corner. If not, he can pass it back. And then five, because he's a screener, he can roll in and try to get that shot. This is the hammer play to get your post players open. So we start by dribbling up court and then passing the ball to one of the wings. And then we pass the ball to the corner and the baseline. And there we do a quick skip pass to the opposite perimeter player. The high post comes down and gives a screen. So here, 4 has the option of using the screen to go directly to the basket or flashing to the top. So depending on the situation, they use the screen and it's going to get an open shot. If they don't, 5 can also roll and try to get an open shot here. If you like these plays, you can get them in the Coach Base Practice Planner app.